Hey ladies, it's Deanna from thelivefitgirls.com and today I have a quick back workout using the resistance bands. So all you need for this workout is a set of resistance bands. I'm using a medium set today. The set that I use has um, handles that can come off the resistance and you can change it out to find just the right perfect tension for you. You could even do two bands at once just to find the exact right tension for you. So there's a link for these bands down below if you need some. Also, this workout is part of my app, The Fitness Collective. If you like this workout, there is a two week free trial also down below. There's a link just for you to try it out. And let's get started with a little warm up. All right, let's get started with a little warm up. We'll start down in a plank. So find a nice, beautiful plank and hold it here. We'll be here for 30 seconds. Big inhales and exhales. In through the nose, long exhale through the mouth. Draw those abs in deeper, engaging your core. So you're feeling those upper abs pulling in, the waistline drawing in, finding those obliques. Feel those low abs draw together. Scoop that navel towards your spine. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna shift it back into a downward dog and then right back four, just for 10. Back and forward. This will help warm up those back muscles just a little bit more. Do whatever breath feels right. If you wanna inhale back, exhale forward or reverse. Just make sure it's nice and consistent and even. Shoulders out of those ears. Find that nice, beautiful plank each and every time. Three more. Two more. Last one. Find that nice, beautiful plank. Hold it for three, two, one, and down. All right, quick warm up because our first exercise here is also going to help warm up the backs of those shoulders and the upper back muscles. So you're gonna grab your band and we're gonna hoist up on the actual tubing part of it for our first exercise. So feet hip distance apart here. We're gonna do band pulls, bringing it across the chest. So you might need to change up where your hands exactly are to find that perfect spot of tension. But from here, you're gonna open out nice and wide, squeeze the shoulder blades together and bring it back in. So core nice and tight, you pull and back together. 15 right here, squeeze the shoulder blades. Again, drawing those shoulder blades down your back feeling them squeeze together behind you, getting those rhomboids. <sighs> Growing tall through the spine. Again, core tight, just like you're wearing a corset, lengthening through the crown of the head, squeeze. Four, three more. Here's two, last one. <sighs> and down, roll out those shoulders a little bit. I'm just gonna undo it just a little bit. We're gonna keep holding onto that tubing part. Bring those arms overhead here. Single arm lat pull down. You're gonna pull one arm down, squeeze, and back up. Stay on that same side, squeeze, and up. Again, 15 right here. <sighs> Finding that perfect range of motion. Feel that shoulder blade squeezing down each and every time. Now, that stabilizing arm, has a tiny, tiny little bend, but you're not changing that angle as we move. It's staying steady. And that shoulder is drawing down away from your ears, even as you're working through that lat pull down. Squeeze. Here's four. Keep resistance that whole time. Three, two, last one. Right into that other side. Here we go. Pull it down. Right and left might be different in strength and that's totally fine. You just wanna to work to try and get them as balanced as possible. Really draw that shoulder blade down. Squeeze. <sighs> try and relax the neck. Relax those shoulders. Feel that downward pulling of your shoulders instead of that creeping up into the ears feeling. Feeling those big upper back muscles, those lats, to draw that shoulder blade down. Three more. Two. 
Come on, last one. And down, roll it out. All right, we're gonna grab onto those handles. You might, again, need a hoist up just depending on your strength and what resistance you have. I'm gonna turn to the side here just so you can get a little different angle. We're gonna do a little lunge. And again, I'm gonna hoist just a tiny bit up because these handles are a little long for me, but you can hold onto the handles if you still have tension on that band at the bottom. Remember, always keep tension on that band. That's how you're gonna get that best workout with these resistance bands. Soft bend in the elbows like you're hugging a giant beach ball. We're gonna do a rear delt fly. And then you're gonna need to find that perfect tension for you, so it might be a little different as you go through it. But when you're ready, you're gonna open out to the side and back down. Nice and controlled, squeeze to lift and down. Good, back is nice and flat, squeeze. Wrists are nice and strong here, squeeze. Good, now the core is super tight. Focusing on squeezing those shoulder blades behind you. Try not to let your torso move through this exercise here. You're looking about two feet in front of that front foot and you're squeezing to lift. Two, last one, you've got it. And down, whoo. All right, I'm gonna stay turned to the side here and we're gonna do double, arm bent over row here. So again, you might need a hoist up on the band, finding that perfect tension, depending on how long your bands are. Since my handles come undone, they're a little bit longer than normal, so I just have to hoist up a little, no big deal for me. But if it bothers you, look for a band that you don't have to take the handlebars off. So from here, I'm gonna hoist up just a little bit. Remember, keeping that tension the whole time, and then from here, a nice narrow row. You're gonna reach and squeeze those elbows up to the sky and then down. Reach and squeeze and down. <sighs> Squeezing those shoulder blades together behind you. Again, you're looking about two feet in front of those toes. If you're on a mat, like maybe the very front edge of your mat there, <sighs> squeezing those shoulder blades, keeping that back nice and steady, you squeeze. Squeeze. Again, you want resistance the whole range of motion here, even at the bottom in that resting starting position. Two, last one, and down. Let's bring it onto our mat. We're gonna hoist up again on the tubing part. And we're gonna lay on our belly here. We're gonna do a little bit of back extension and open up on that band here. So from here, arms are gonna reach in front of you. It's gonna be a small movement, a small pull with those arms, but a nice, beautiful back extension. Remember, core stays tight here. I don't care how high you get in the back extension, focus more on that squeeze in the band and drawing the shoulders down your back. Here we go in three, two, one. You're gonna lift. Open up on that band and then down. Lift and open and down. It doesn't have to be a big range. I want you to focus more on that mind-body connection here and drawing the shoulders away from the ears as much as possible, keeping the core as tight as possible. Feel those muscles kind of underneath the armpit to help draw open that band. Reach the crown of the head forward to that wall in front of you. Three, you got it. Two, last one. And down. Woo. All right, if you have the right tension for that band and you are keeping tension on it the whole time here, you are already feeling those muscles. Whew. Roll out those shoulders a little bit. We have those band pulls. We're starting all over from the beginning. All right, you ready? You know what's coming. We're gonna zip right through it. Again, 15 reps for every exercise. Let's go in those band pulls. Here we go in three, two, one. Open and in. So those arms are about shoulder height, really squeezing the shoulders behind you. You've got this. 
Controlling that inward movement of the band here, growing tall through your spine, always in control of that band. You got this. Squeeze. Three more right here. You've got two. Last one. And down. Roll it out. We have those single arm lat pull downs. Bring those arms overhead. Here we go in three, two, one. You pull down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. You can do it. I know you can. Staying strong through the spine, strong through the core. Resistance on that band always. Even at the top here, you're keeping resistance on that band. You've got it. Pull. Here's five. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Right over to that other side. You pull and pull, making sure that form is correct before you even get started. Take that quick second just to check in on those shoulders, check in on the core. Make sure the knees are just a tiny bit bent. <sighs> Lengthening through the crown, up towards the sky. You got this, squeeze, squeeze. <sighs> Ribs pulling together, hip bones pulling together, waistline pulling in. Pull. Use that exhale to engage those muscles deeper. Last one right here. And down. Roll it out. All right, those delt flies bent over. Again, find that right tension before you get started as much as you can. I'm just going to change which foot was in front here. And here we go. Finding that lunge position. Soft bend in those elbows. Finding that roundness. Here we go in three, two, one. Open. Open, squeezing the shoulder blades in this movement. <sighs> Core tight, <sighs> trying not to let the torso move here. It's reaching towards a parallel position to the floor. It doesn't have to be totally parallel, but get it as close as possible. <sighs> Try and keep those hips squared to the wall in front of you. <sighs> Again, looking about two feet in front of your toes. Four more. Come on, you got this. Three more with me. Two. Last one. And down. Woo. All right, two feet on that band here. Finding that narrow row. Again, finding that perfect spot of tension for the band, keeping resistance on the whole time. Here we go in three, two, one. Row it up. Squeeze those shoulder blades, squeeze those elbows towards each other in the back. Nice flat spine here. Almost like you're sticking your booty out behind you just a little bit to get that natural S curve through your spine. You don't want to over arch the back, but you don't want to be rounded here. So a nice flat back. Think of those abs as if they were in a plank. So they're still super tight protecting that spine. Here's three, two, last one, and down. Whew. Bring it on down onto the mat, into those back extensions. Remember, small movement here, but it's mighty. Doesn't have to be big. Focus more on that engagement. Here we go in three, two, one. Open as you lift and down. Up and open and down. Core strong, protecting that low back, no crunchy feeling. It's all about lengthening through the crown of the head, lengthening through the toes, and just that little squeeze of those shoulder blades. Again, kind of right underneath the armpit. Just five more. You've got it really pull. Here's Three, two, last one, and down. Whew. All right, one more round here. Let's get right into it. Band pulls again. 
We're moving quick today, getting it all in. Here we go in three, two, one. Open, back together. Open, together. You've got it. Squeeze. Squeeze, growing tall through that spine. Squeezing those shoulder blades behind you. Come on, ladies. Last round here, you can do it. We've just got five. Here's four, three, two, last one. And down, roll it out. Lat pull downs, here we go. Down, again, single sides, pull, pull. You can do this, I know you can. You are so strong and you'll get stronger every day. Just be consistent in your workouts. They don't have to be long. These quick workouts are meant for you to get it in and stay consistent. I have faith in you, I know you can do it and I'm so proud of you. Switch right over to that other side in three, two, one, switch it. Pull, pull. You can do it, shoulders down, core tight, soft bend in those knees. <sighs> Breathe through it, I know it gets uncomfortable. Those muscles wanna break, but we're almost done. <sighs> <sighs> shoulders down, keep checking in with them. They like to creep up to those ears. I know they do, mine do too, everybody does. <sighs> We have those rear flies in three, two more. Last one, pull and down. Whew. All right, find that right spot. I'm gonna switch it back to that first leg again. Here we go in three, two, one. Open and down, open, down. Again, reaching towards a parallel position with that spine, it doesn't have to be perfect. Focus more on keeping the core tight rather than getting totally parallel. Again, a little sticking out of that booty, just a tiny bit, just so you keep that neutral spine. Look two feet in front of you. <sighs> Hips parallel to that wall in front of you. Squeeze those shoulder blades behind you. Control that band. <sighs> Three more. <sighs> two more. <sighs> Last one. And down, all right. Bent over row, two feet on. Let's go in three, two, one. Pull and squeeze, squeeze. Drawing those shoulder blades together. You can do it, looking two feet in front of you, reaching the crown of the head forward, reaching that tail behind you. Weight in those heels, core strong, squeeze. Feel those shoulder blades squeeze down your spine. Three, two more. Last one. And down, come on down. Last one, back extensions right here. Here we go in three, two, one. Up and open. You can do it. Open. Neck in line with your spine, looking down towards your mat, crown of the head reaching forward, squeeze. Doesn't have to be big. Just make sure those muscles are working. Your core is still so tight, just as if it was in a plank here. Five more. Three, we get to relax, two more. Last one, and down, oh my gosh. Get those bands off to the side, take a nice little child's pose. Ooh, this feels nice. Whew. Hips on those feet, arms long in front of you. Maybe wiggle out those hips a little. Reach those arms forward, maybe walk the fingertips a little farther forward. Feel a nice stretch kind of in that armpit area here. And then bring it all the way up. Bring that arm across the chest. 
little rear shoulder stretch here. Big breaths in, long breaths out. Get that heart rate down, switch sides. Again, these workouts are quick, but they're so efficient. You don't have to work out a ton or for hours and hours and hours. Just be consistent, really focus on those muscles, find that mind-body connection, and you'll get a great workout in. I'll see you next time and have a great day.